share this channel on the internet. Welcome back guys to part 2 of the 55 mile boating adventure and if you saw part 1 you notice we left late in the afternoon from the back of the house and we headed out north and it was just me and the boys on the island hopper and we headed towards Boca Grande sandbar and the ride takes us about an hour and 45 minutes but it's not a bad ride because the water is pretty smooth and once we got there we noticed there was a lot of people enjoying the sandbar life but we didn't stop we cruised right by and went over to the railroad tracks to do some fishing that we didn't get lucky at all because we needed some sardines so we went out on the hunt but on the outside on the beach side we didn't find anything but a whole bunch of seabirds hanging out at the beach Then we decided to take our boating adventure a little farther up north to Stump Pass, a new sandbar located a few miles north of Boca Grande. We cruised around for a little bit and then headed back to Boca Grande where we left off from the last video. And since it was later in the day, there were less boaters at the sandbar but that didn't matter to us because we came to have a sea lax in time and catch a late late lunch. Alright guys, so guess what? It's time to do some barbecue check. What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? Boom! Here it is, baby sausage time. Baby sausage time at the sandbar. Like always. It's part of the part of the thing you got to be at the sandbar and you got to eat sausages you got some we got skinny ones and we got some fat ones yep that's how we do sausage time at the bar and while i stayed on the boat making the late lunch the kids went out on the hunt for some sardines Alright guys, so you know that sometimes we tend to forget things because we're in a hurry. And you know sometimes I forget the buns or the ketchup, you know, stuff like that. Well, today I forgot a lot of things. I forgot the buns, I forgot the ketchup, I forgot the utensils, and I forgot the napkins. So all I brought was the sausages. Luckily I bought a lighter. If not, we would have been eating cold sausages. You know, look at that thing. So I got to do it by hand, baby. I gotta do it by hand because I got nothing. Not even a, a hook. Well, yeah, I got hooks, but I can turn the sausage with a hook. Wow, super hot. Woo. So a few people ask on the comments, why do I wear this uh, cloth or mask or whatever you want to call it? And the thing is this, um, I don't really like the sunblock because you know it's all greasy and stuff. So what I do is this has 50% sun protected. So what I do is this and that's it. I don't burn my neck, I don't burn my ears, I don't burn my nose, and actually I could breathe to it. And that's why I wear it. Oh, and also, I sell it online, so you guys can check it out there on www.frescochannel.com. So while the kids keep hunting and me cooking on the boat, we're gonna see what the rest of the other boaters here are doing at Boca Grande Sandbar.
Well, the kids came back with more luck. But not sardines, more pinfish. You know how they say rain or shine? We're we going on the boat. Well, rain or shine and no utensils, we're still gonna eat the sausages. Whew! Things on fire. Ha! But nothing to stop sausage time, baby. And how cool is this? While I enjoy sausage time, I get to also enjoy a show. Or maybe they were just practicing their gymnastics ability, or handstand, or even cartwheels. Oh, this is pretty fun to look at and entertaining and it's taking sandbar Sasha's time to another level because I had dinner and a show. All right, guys, so we're going to take a little closer look at these abandoned railroad tracks. I don't know when they were built, but they look pretty old because they don't much even use concrete. They use uh, treated wood, I guess. I look how cool is this, right? Look, there's actually trees. There's trees growing on the railroad tracks. That's super cool. Look how low it is. It's awesome. So yeah, I mean, it's already really, really late. And a lot of people have gone home. So we're like, like the last ones here. Cause you know, we're about that life. The sandbar life. But yeah, check it out. This is awesome here. Let me see. Oh, they took the metal. They took the metal. Look at the old boats. Pretty old, huh? Look at that. It's awesome. There's two sides. There's, uh, I guess, uh, East side as this one that would have had that big big party remember and there's the west side and that's under the railroad tracks towards this side and that's where we're at we're right there chilling with the hopper so we're exploring today all over the west coast we done drove like two hours we're going around places different beaches different locations just exploring you know because we got nothing else to do so yes guys this is pretty awesome here so if you're visiting uh, Boca Grande Sandbar, you come check out the railroad tracks. It's pretty cool. Right now, it's super low tide. Yeah, it's really, really low tide. Normally, the water is like maybe two, two to three feet higher here. So, and usually there's a lot of snooks right here on this area. Because that's where for the key do and Joel caught a few snooks. And we actually caught one that had a, a lure on his mouth and then we took it off and let him go. But, you know, he was really skinny because I guess because of the lure he couldn't eat. So yeah, this is pretty nice here. Oh, look at that, look at all the needle fish. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Though. So this is an awesome place to come visit if you're here on the west coast and near Boca Grande. It's really cool here. I guess uh, you come hang out and visit history at the same time. It's pretty cool. Check it out. It's awesome. Well guys, you noticed that we started our day after 1 p.m. But to be a half a day, we visit so many different places that we could consider it a whole day full of adventure. But now it's time to pick up and start heading back.
Alright, so we saw a huge snook and a, and a few giant sheepheads. So we decided before heading back home to throw some live uh, fish here. See if we get lucky, but but you know how it is. Fishing is luck. So we're testing it right now before we're going home. Let's see if I can show you guys. Let's see if I can see it. It was a huge, I'll say about almost 36 inches. Snook. I think the big snook wants to play hide and go seek but you know who came out to play with us another fan from the west coast a nice dolphin he has an injury oh yeah he got he, somebody cut his top of his fin poor little guy I guess the fish outsmarted us once again but it's okay though because there's always gonna be a next time Day's almost over, but the adventure never stops because now Mother Nature is threatening us to get us wet one more time and it's coming right in front of us. I was just hoping it drains out by the time we reach it. Well yeah, it's coming and I already feel the cold wind getting closer. But I noticed there was a little gap towards the left of the storm and I took my chances and ran right to it. And we got a little wet but I think we outsmarted Mother Nature. But we had to be careful because there was a lot of thunder strikes. And to me, that's the part that I have to be careful about because the heavy rains and heavy winds don't scare us. And one more time, Mother Nature got us wet, but we survived and made it through and left it behind. And I think I'm gonna change the name of the Island Hopper into Rain Runner because that's what it feels like we do all the time. But I don't think we're out of the woods yet because if you look ahead, there's another cloud forming. But the good thing is we're about 20 minutes from the house. And we all like to say one more time, rain or shine and even thunder is not gonna stop the Rain Runner and Fresco Channel from having fun out in the sun or in the rain. And until next time, I'll catch you guys out in the water.